The Mao Tse Tung Hour went on the air March 14th. It received a 47 share. The network promptly committed to 15 shows with an option for 10 more. There were the usual contractual difficulties. Uh, equal to 20% 2 0, except with such percentages, that'll be 30% 3 0 for 90 minute or longer television programs. Have we settled that sub licensing thing? No, no. We want a clear definition here. <clears throat> Gross proceeds should consist of all funds the sub licensee receives, not merely the net amount remitted after payment to the sub licensee or distributor. We're not sitting still for overhead charges as a cost prior to distribution. Dog! Fuck with my distribution costs. I'm making a lousy 215 per segment. I'm already deficiting 25 grand a week with Metro. I'm paying William Morris 10% off the top. And I'm giving this turkey 10,000 per segment, another five for this fruitcake. And Helen, don't start no shit with me about a piece again. I'm paying Metro 20% for all foreign and Canadian distribution. And that's after recoupment. The Communist Party's not going to see a nickel out of this goddamn show until we go into syndication. Oh, come on, Laureen. The party's in for 7500 a week production expense. I'm not giving this pseudo-insurrectionary sectarian a piece of my show. I'm not giving him script approval. And I sure as shit ain't cutting him into my distribution charges. You fucking fascist! Did you see the film we made of the San Marino jailbreak out demonstrating the rising up of the seminal prisoner class infrastructure? You can blow the seminal prisoner class infrastructure out your ass! I'm not knocking down my goddamn distribution charges! Man, give her the fucking overhead clause. Let's get back to page 22. Five, small a, subsidiary rights. Where are we now? Page 22, middle of the page, subsidiary rights. As used herein, subsidiary rights means, without limitation, any and all rights. 